Hi, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your December 2020 money and career reading for you. Now, I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload new readings, and I upload all the time, just hit the bell notification button. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed and linked in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, Let's clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from your body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as you enter into this safe and loving space. All right. Let's let the bowl sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Scorpio. December 2020 money and career Scorpio December 2020 money and career Scorpio December 2020 money and career Scorpio December 2020 money and career Angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides Angels and spirit guides show me clearly Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Fantastic. Let's see what your chakra energy is for this time. Scorpio, December 2020 money and career. Scorpio, December 2020 money and career. Scorpio, December 2020 money and career. Scorpio, angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Fantastic, these three. And we'll see how they equate to the tarot in just a moment. We have here creativity, which is the sacral chakra. And then we have clarity, the third eye chakra. And we have personal power, the solar plexus chakra. The left hand side is the inner self. The middle is the heart, the emotional self. The right-hand side, the public arena, and the public self. So we start off with the Ten of Wands. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. Oh, interesting. And the King of Cups. So you come through during this time as a king. There's a turmoil here that's being released or looked at. There's something here that has kept you held back. Scorpio, and I felt it before when I was meditating upon the cards where it's like, why does this negativity keep on coming through my head? Why does this person's words sting so much? And there's a release here. There's kind of a power that's coming in 
in the workplace, but also in your your mind, your understanding, your your sense of of a self is you're rising in a new day and into a new dawn. And as you do so, there's a power that you are are really looking at here that has been ignored. And this is your passion. This is the reason for getting out of bed in the morning. So you're coming to the end of a cycle and it's really embracing your truth. It brings you to the lovers, which is Gemini energy, time frame May 21st to June 20th. The Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, nightmares come forward, and then you have the Sun. So it's like after the nightmares comes the beauty, comes this power again, the darkness before the dawn is going to be a huge theme for you during this time, which I know nobody wants. Everybody wants things to just be like hunky-dory and everything smooth and easygoing, but there is this sense of addressing a darkness, addressing something that has held you back, something that you might have been afraid to voice before or, you know, thought of, you know, if I, if I say this or if I, I think this way, it's, it's bad. It, it's not. It's not. Uh, if you come from a place now, of course, Spirit is saying, you know, if you come from a place of love, kindness and acceptance and a place of, you know, this is my personal truth, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody, you're moving forward well, but there's something here that you're releasing. But there's also a sense of another person not worrying if they're hurting you. Like there isn't this worry of what they do to you. There is this worry of like, oh, well, that makes me feel bad. So now I'm going to be to be, to be mad at you or I'm not going to let you say what you need to say. But I, I can say whatever I want to say. And that's something that you're really done with. And in your heart, you have the repeat of the number six, which is the most caring and the most loving of numbers. You have the seven of swords. Okay, yeah, the repeat... Of the number seven here, definitely embracing your truth. You have the king of pentacles. In a reading for money and career, we love to see the king of pentacles coming forward, the king of wands. So you definitely have that coming forward. Here, prosperity, success, bounty, justice. Justice leading you, justice guiding you. Strong connection with a Libra energy. Time frame, September 23rd to October 22nd. If you're born on the cusp with Libra, okay, there is this sense of a lot of Libra energy kind of spilling into, during this time, into your Scorpio presence, your Scorpio self. And now, I, I love Scorpios. I really do. I have to, full disclosure, you know, my, my grandma, my great-grandma, who I was raised by, you know, along with my mom, my, my grandma and my great-grandma were both Scorpios and the best people you could possibly know. So here, there is this sense of, as you are embracing your truth, there is a sense of feeling like you have to be ultra, ultra fair all the time. And that that's going to take away from something. It's going to take away from this bit of, of understanding, of pulling things closer, of gathering up just for the right time to move forward. There's a secretness around Scorpios that either you love it or, or you don't love it. But there is this sense here of this power, this understanding, this this grace, and it's you taking it in so that you move forward in your life the way that you love, the way that you you need to be within your soul, within yourself, within what you desire. And that really does move you forward in a way that you hadn't anticipated, in a way that it like opens you up to this this surprise that is coming. But it's not so much of a surprise as if as it is a coming home, a coming home to your soul, a coming home to your passion, a coming home. And this has to do with work. And this does bleed over into work and into finances because when we think that we can't and when there's these negative words and these hurts and these pains that keep tumbling forward in our mind, you know, there, there comes a time where we think, I just can't embrace the empress. I can't sit on my throne. I can't have my power. And this is saying, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And this is going to be, this is going to be a journey time for you most definitely. But it's also going to be a powerful you know, self-realization time. It really is. So let's look at the people who who are aiding you during this time. Who are the people who aid Scorpio? December 2020, money and career. Who are the people who will aid Scorpio? December 2020, money and career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Fantastic, these three. So we have here, we have the King of Swords, Air Sign, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You also have strong Gemini presence 
during this time. This is a person who speaks plainly. This is also a person who values the the way of words, okay, and the power of words. Now, this can be a person who inspires you that you don't know them, but they inspire you through some form of media or another, because all the people who aid but also hinder can aid or hinder us in the oddest of ways. So spirit really wants us to be aware of the energy that is around us, the mindsets that we are taking on, the words that we are taking in during this time, because you're cutting through doubts and fears and negativity, and you're embracing power during this time for you, Scorpio. And here, this is a person who really embodies that. It, this is a person who stands in their truth. Now, whether you agree with this person or not, it does show you that you too you know, should be standing in your truth or have to be standing in your truth for the power of your soul, for the power of what you love within your life. And it brings you. Now, this person also, the King of Swords, this person can also be a little bit blunt with the way that they talk, a little bit like, these are the facts, this is the truth, you know, and let's move on. Or they can be so nuanced within their words that at times it becomes hard to kind of unravel everything that they're saying. But there is a sense here of this great knowledge, this great power. And even if you unravel one thing or you sit there and after like sitting back and being like, well, that doesn't resonate with me because they, they can be a bit blunt. You find the thing that does and you're like, oh, that's the jewel of this time. Like that's the jewel that I needed to hear. That's why I'm here. That's how I'm moving forward. And then you have the princess of swords. This is a person who has this vivacious energy to them. They don't have to be young. You know, you have seen older people who just, you sit there and you're like, wow, I can't keep up with you. It's exhausting. And so here, this is just, this is a person with this young, you know, tenacious energy to them. And this is a person here who I am feeling it can kind of stumble over their words because they're trying to say so much. They have so much knowledge, so much insight coming forward to them. And they're putting things together. They're putting things together in a new way. And even if it's not a new way, even if you're sitting there, you're like, oh, I've heard that before. But it's a new exploratory way for them. And therefore, as they share it, it's a new exploratory way for all that hear. So it's it's going to be a way that they like open up this path and they start moving forward in this, in this greater truth. This can be a person here because it's in the positive form. They, they take in a lot of information from other people. So you might say, oh, they're a bit of a gossip, but they're not going to be gossipy. They're just gathering information. And then you have the chariot, which is cancer energy. June 21st to July 22nd is the time frame. This is a person who is who's determined. I mean, this is a person who is looking at the shadowed side of themselves and the light side of themselves, you know, the tamed and the untamed side of, of themselves as a human, as part of humanity, but also the tamed and the untamed ways of humanity and really looking at things more deeply, more, more honestly, a little bit more darkly. Like, you know, how people say, oh, they have a dark sense of humor or something like that. That is going to be very much around this person during this time. There's also a sense of, of movement to them. They, they move their hands a lot or they move their, their feet when, when they're talking. I just get this kind of fidgety feel from them. They, they need to express and they have so much expression through them that it comes forward. They are moving in a pathway of their heart. And they are opening up things for you, Scorpio, where you're like, yes. And you are... You are intrigued by things that show the sa the shadows of life. That's just and that's just something beautiful. You are intrigued by the shadows. Everything doesn't have to be, you know, roses and butterflies all the time because you you know that life isn't. And that's going to be a very powerful power par powerful part of you during this time and why you're you're drawn to the chariot. You're drawn to somebody who moves forward very much in their heart's truth. And even if their heart's truth, just as any human being's heart's truth is, like contradictory to, to some of the things that they're doing, you know, or they say one thing and then they say another and they believe both, but they're, they're kind of contradictory, right? You're going to actually sit there and find great value in that. It's like, okay, you can see things this way, but you can also see things this, this way. And, and now I, I move forward. Now I, you know, transform because you're tired of carrying a load that is, that is too heavy. And I'm just looking here because it looks like a mountain, but it also, it also, it is a whale. It is a whale. Okay, so I did see that correctly. And you have this whale here. So the whales with a deep 
harmonious way that they talk and the, the whale sounds. It's like the vibrational energy of the world right now is going to be very impactful for you. This is going to make you need to be very mindful of the people that you surround yourself with. Now, during this time, you are releasing a lot of negative energy that you've held or a lot of energy that you've held for others, for yourself. It's like, I've, I've carried this on my back for too long. It is not helping. It is hindering. It is not moving me forward. It is silencing me. How do I express? How do I become? And you're going to see yourself moving towards something more. And you're also going to see yourself kind of stepping back and saying, you know, kind of like not my monkey, not my circus type of thing. It's like, I'm not doing this. I, I, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't care. And I'm walking away and you mean it, which is really quite interesting because Scorpio, even if people sit there and they say, oh, I find you a bit aloof or anything like that, you still take on so much responsibility. You take, you still take on so much energy and you try to ease the load for others, but you don't feel the need of always having to have it be known because you're represented by the death card in the major arcana. Okay. And death you know, sometimes it's loud and, and voiceless, but at other times is very subtle, but it's always the great equalizer of this world. And it's the sign of transformation, of rebirth, of, of a coming together. So you see things so differently than everybody else. And did I just completely skip? Yes, your, your chakra messages, because the creative energy that is around you here is just so focused on on the 10 of wands. It's like you're releasing so much and to have this release come, you will feel it in your sacral chakra, which can lead to heightened sexual energy around you. Okay. A heightened form of sexual expression needing to be a part of you, but also heightened creative energy. If you don't have a sexual outlet or if the sexual outlet isn't as Spirit is saying fulfilling, which sounds a bit rude, but okay. Um, as you would like it to be, there is this the sense of this creative energy really being a part of you, this, this brilliance, this brilliance of creation really being a part of you. And you're releasing a lot of negativity that you've held from past lives, from your DNA line, you know, kind of, or even societally programmed into you. And you're sitting there and you're saying, this is me. This is who I need to be. This is who I want to be. And this is how I move forward. And that's, you're going to see yourself breaking down a lot of barriers because as this creative energy moves through you, it, it, it warms you, it empowers you and you find your third eye opening. And as your third eye opens, you see things more clearly. You see things more honestly, you see things more, more truthfully for yourself. And as you see this more truthfully, you embrace your power of understanding. You embrace your, your deeper knowledge. And as you embrace this deep knowledge, you embrace this truth. It's like your eyes are opening and there's, there's just clarity that comes. It's like all of a sudden, it's like the, the chiming of, of a bell. It's like things start to ring crystal clear and you'll get moments of this clarity. And that's why you're releasing so much of what has, has held you back before because it's like, I need to just like, it's just that I need to just let go. I need to breathe because my solar plexus are being empowered. I am listening to my gut reactions. I'm moving forward in this power, in this determination, in this dedication, in this insight, in this understanding. And as I do so, I embrace a truth that is profound. As I do so, I see me more openly, more honestly, and more succinctly. And that leads you to a release of things that you just don't want anymore. It's a purge. It's a purge that's coming forward. And it has to do around career. It's like, it's like, I don't want to feel like this anymore. or I don't want this anymore. And it's, it's a sense of being taken advantage of. It's a sense of feeling unfulfilled. And it doesn't mean here and spirit wants me to make it crystal clear where it's not like, you know, quit your job, join the circus, you know, run away type of thing. It is a sense of, I know my responsibilities and I uphold my responsibilities because I very much believe in responsibilities, right? And they can forge us in a way that we never expected. But there still needs to be that spark of joy. There still needs to be that fire of truth. There still needs to be that resi residential, no, not residential is for houses, but that residence, there we go, of the energy that flows through you, that resonates with your body, your soul, and yourself. And that is your, it is kind of your whale song that you're embracing here. And it leads you to this sense of prosperity. It leads you to this sense 
with the seven of pentacles of being patient, of being patient because prosperity is coming. And we would all like prosperity on our time and not divine time. But here, divinity is saying, if you, if you wait, it will be sweeter. And this isn't saying, you know, just wait. And so what spirit is showing me is they're showing me a job that I had that I absolutely hated. I absolutely, you know, it started off great. And I thought, okay, you know, this is, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get a job like this. You're supposed to move forward like this succinctly, you know, climb up the ladder and you'll be happy because you're supposed to be, you know, gosh darn it. And here, it, I just couldn't, I just couldn't fake it. Like I just couldn't make myself fit into a round hole. I was a square peg. And that's what it's showing here. It's like, if you start to see where your, your truth and you start to see where you need to answer like divinity's call. Okay. You start to see that there is prosperity that lies ahead. That just has to be ripened. That just has to be, you know, addressed. It's like, you can't make yourself into something that you're not. And if you go down this road that is different, it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just different. It opens up a world to you that you aren't expecting. And that's the prosperity that comes in an unexpected way. And it comes in divine timing because you listen to that divine call. And that divine call is that whale call. Okay, that makes sense. That is resonating here through you. That is vibrating through you. And it brings you to the Ten of Swords. And it brings you to all these places within your mind that you have felt caged. You have felt overwhelmed. You have felt as if, you know, I can't move forward this way. You know, what the heck is going on here? You, you have, you have questions, you have sought, you, you still seek type of thing. And this is after a decade, every single sword that has been stamped into you, every single wound that has come forward. And now you see that you've been forged because life, life isn't supposed to be easy. As much as people would like to say, oh, you just follow these simple steps and then all of a sudden, you know, everything just falls into alignment and everything's perfect all the time, all the time. It isn't. Why? Because you have, you know, variables thrown in there. You have people that you love thrown into your life. You have things that happen that are completely out of your control thrown into your life's equation. And so here with the Ten of Swords, it's saying life happens and it happens a lot of times unexpectedly, but there is the darkness before the dawn. There is, there is always going to be a new day that follows and a new power and a new brilliance and a new truth and a new understanding of self. So as you embrace this, you embrace you because you have been forged, not broken. All right. When the iron breaks, you are the, the iron is cooled. I know a lot about forging and you are recast. And so sometimes the sword breaks, but there is strength coming from the knowledge that you gained from that breakage. And so here it leads you to you. It leads you to you realizing Scorpio that you are a king of yourself because the king of cups rules just one person and that's him. And you can sit there and say, okay, the king rules everybody else. But this king knows that he rules through example. This king knows that the only person who will truly listen to every single word that he says, and sometimes you won't even do that, but it is yourself. And that's what you're looking at here. That's the enlightenment that, you know, crowns him and the waters that go forward. And there's almost a sense of being able, as you truly embrace yourself, your soul, what you desire, what you are looking at and longing for, as you truly embrace you, you see yourself rising. You see yourself gaining this, this power, this truth, this seeing almost, you know, it's almost like you have visions and some of you might be having visions, but it's almost like you sit there and this little voice in your, he your head says like, be careful, the cup will fall. And then the cup fa starts to fall. And you're like, oh shoot, I should have listened to that voice. Or you see something and then the thing happens. So just be very mindful here because it's opening you up. And you might say, well, what good does this have to do with my career? Because it's opening you up to a greater truth, to a greater power, to a greater prosperity. And there's an insight to what you are truly passionate about once you <coughs> excuse me, once you release the burdens that had kept that had kept you hunched over, and then you can embrace, you can explore, you can open up 
to love and to passion, to what you desire, what you need, and what you're calling forward. Because the lovers, as lovely as it is to fall into romantic love, this is also falling in love with life. This is falling in love with what you do. This is finding that passion, that brilliance, that beauty that leads you forward. And it's fully embracing it. And that's what you're doing here. There's a sense of power. There's a sense of brilliance. There's a sense of love being blind, like blindly. Okay, so it sounds kind of dangerous to say blindly follow the passion. But there is a sense of here, spirit is saying you have to take that leap of faith. You have to, to let the energy, to let the creative energy flow from your sacral chakra into every single aspect of your being, of your hope, of your desire, of what you are longing for. And as you rise, you see things more openly, more honestly, more truthfully for yourself. And as you see things in a new light, in a new way, you embrace a greater power, a greater brilliance. It's like, oh, this is the reason, isn't it? Oh, this is the beauty, isn't it? Oh, this is what I truly love and I truly want. And it, it, it brings a joy to you. So even if work is just, you know, you pay the bills, right? And there's honor in that. There's brilliance in that. You know, you do what you need to do. But then you have something on the side that sings to your heart. Or, you know, you get to... You get to do something that brings beauty into your life, whether it's playing with your kids, whether it's, you know, making a really nice dinner or preparing a really nice breakfast for, you know, the next day to come. You embrace what brings you joy. And that's what starts to fuel this passion. And it starts to have you seeing here because there's a sense of a balance that is off within work and within finances. I mean, and with the year that we've had, of course, there is the sense of, of chaos around everything, but there is this sense here of, of people always having out their hand or people always needing a part of you. And you feel pulled in 18 million different directions. And it's like, how do I move forward? How do I get to be where it is that I need to be? Soul, spirit, and self. And so as you're looking at this, as you're embracing an honesty and an, in, and an intricacy of being, you see yourself moving towards what you, what you need to balance the scales. And this is in the day-to-day -day aspects of life. This, the justice card, is in the more complex aspects of the soul and of the self. But the, the six of, of pentacles is in the day-to-day -day aspects of life. What needs to be more fair? What needs to be just even simply fair? And there are some things where you might say, well, this is never going to be fair. And it's either an acceptance of that and a moving away from the, the injustice of it, hurting your heart, okay, making you feel overwhelmed and, you know, angry and adding to nightmares and doubts because there needs to be a discernment. It's like this energy I will accept and this energy I will not because during this time you are so... Yeah, you are so sensitive to energy. And as you put down these boundaries and as you see things openly and honestly for, for yourself, you start to see gifts coming in. You start to see prosperity coming forward. And you have a sense here, Scorpio, because of everything that you've been through, there is a sense of, well, when's the next shoot going to drop? When's everything going to fall apart? Oh, I'm sure I'm going to mess up and everything's going to just be ruined type of mentality that's here. And it's like, no. No, stop it. Stop the nightmares. Stop the worry, the doubt, and the fear from ruling, ruling everything. Right? This is looking at the fear and saying, I see you. I see you. But you don't get to control me. And it can't even be following that thread. Why? Why am I afraid? Why, why am I overwhelmed? Why do I keep running in circles around this? You know, around the fact that there might not be enough money. You know, why am I always afraid of that? Is the answer really simple? I lost it all before. I know what it's like to be homeless. I know what it's like to be, you know, and you can list it. And it's like, okay, well, that makes sense. That's why I have fear that there won't be enough. Fear of career. You know, what is it that people won't understand what you truly want to do with your life? That there are so many burdens that you have become almost irrelevant, that everybody else needs everything. And if you drop the ball, you know, who's going to be there to pick it up? The Nine of Swords are all those worries, those fears, and those doubts that come forward. And they are placed on our shoulders. And it's like, okay, here you go. You're welcome. No. No, the Nine of Swords is looking at the fear. 
is looking at the doubt and the chaos and the apprehension and the, and the anger and the upset and saying, I see you. I see you for the monster that you are. I see you for the, the panic attack that you could be. I see you. And I respect you. I honor my fear because my fear keeps me going, but my fear can also paralyze me. And my heart here wants to embrace, is crowned by love and happiness. It does not want to embrace fear and doubt and everybody pulling me in every direction, but the direction that I want to go in. So you look at it. And it can also be that you're working so hard that you're not giving yourself a break. You're not giving yourself a time to breathe. That's going to be so important with, for you during this time for you to, to move forward, to embrace success. You need, you need to embrace time to breathe. So you look at the fear and you address it. You don't run away from it. You say, you name it. You say, I am afraid of X, Y, Z. I am afraid of, you know, this happening again. And then you say to yourself, why? Because we see it in the public arena. Why is it that there is the fear that, you know, of deception? Why is there the fear that you'll be left out in the cold? Because there's the sun. There's the sun. There's brilliance and there's beauty and there's prosperity and there's, you know, abundance. Why does the fear get to rule? The sun is a radiance and it is the passion that crowns the lovers. You know, you have that glowing light right up there. And this is fire and passion and brilliance. And your heart is profound during this time. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace the depth of your heart and the brilliance of your soul and the way that, <coughs> excuse me, the way that you have this elasticity of mind and of spirit and of development because it radiates out of you. And when it radiates out of you, you will have people who want to take you by eyes and sit there and say, oh, Scorpio, you don't deserve this. You know, you don't get to have this. It's like, why the heck not? Why not? Why do they get to rob it? Because they believe that if you have happiness, that means they won't. It means that if you have joy in your life, they can't. And that's just, just that's a silly way to live your life. That if somebody else has prosperity, then you cannot. Because there's brilliance here as you move forward. Shine in your light and do not let others rob it because they will try to rob it, especially since you're rooted in yourself as a king, you're rooted in the empress and the sun. They're going to see that there is power and there is brilliance to you and they're going to try and take it away. This isn't, you know, to be mean or, you know, woe be gone or anything like that. It's just, it's just human nature. It's like, well, if you get to be happy and you get to kind of have things in order and I'm miserable, then I'm going to try and and make you miserable because misery loves company. And it brings you to the seven of swords. It brings you to taking your knowledge, taking your understanding, leaving some things behind, they're not necessary, and moving away. One, because you're done with the sneakiness that is around you. Two, other people are going to say you're being sneaky, but you're not. You're covering your back and you're moving forward in the knowledge that you need to, to get you to where you want to be. So sharing everything with everyone, it's kind of like you share everything with everyone and then people steal your ideas. It's not, not sharing anything ever, but it's being very mindful, being very mindful of the information that you're giving and the way that you're moving forward. And it leads you to being prosperous. It leads you to embracing the king's energy, the king of pentacle, the king of wealth's energy, seeing the interconnectedness of things that you hadn't seen before. The seven of swords spirit is also saying here, there was a time, all right, where, <laughs> where Scorpio, you might have told everybody everything. Like you were just like an open book and you're like, oh, if, if everybody knows, then this is good and, and that's how you're supposed to live your life. And they, they said that before. There are a whole bunch of books of just like living in utter authenticity. And if you have pain, you let it show. And if you have joy, you let it show. And you found that people, you know, ridiculed you for your pain and tried to steal away your joy. And so here, that's why you hold things closer to the deck like you know you hold your cards closer to your heart it's like no you don't get to see you don't get to see but I get to move forward in prosperity because I am looking at 
what is prosperous, what is right, what is bountiful, what is purposeful for me. And as I do so, I am crowned with wealth, with blessings, with beauty, with understanding, with this sense of of seeing the way that things connect, seeing the way that I can move myself forward in greater prosperity and truth that I didn't see before. And as you see this, and as you know this, the justice comes in, the discernment comes in. The public arena is astoundingly powerful. You have all major arcana cards but one. And the one card that crowns you is like, don't tell everything, every, everybody everything. Oh, you have, well, this is a court card, okay? So you have a court card and major arcana cards because the blessings that come are powerful and they're, and they're true. And they're going to be real and they're going to be really impactful for you. Be discerning. Be discerning that with the energy that you let around you. Be discerning with the people that you let into your life. Be discerning with who you're, you share your ideas with and how you're moving forward. It really does matter during this time. It's not being secretive and, you know, kind of clustering things away. It's clustering things away. It's being, it's being prudent. It's being powerful. And you will find that as you are, there's this weight lifted off of your heart. In ancient Egypt, which is what we have right here, the depiction of the heart being judged against the feather. In ancient Egypt, you were allowed to pass through Anubis's gates if your heart was lighter than a feather, or was as light as a feather. But your heart could not weigh more than a feather. So here, there is power, there is brilliance, but there needs to be this ease of emotion, because the emotional vibrations that are around you are so impactful, so powerful, that you need to be mindful of what brings you down. And then you have the Empress, claiming a throne you thought was lost, claiming the power of your voice, the power of your soul, the power of yourself. You, you become an Empress. You become a ruler of your existence in the public arena. And people take note of it. There's power. There's purpose. There's dedication. There's determination to you. And people, and people take note. And that's going to be another reason why you need to be mindful because they will try to take you by eyes. They will try to sit there and say, oh, well, you know, I want this or I need this and you have, you have enough. It's like, stop it. Stop it. I'm living my truth. And if my truth is powerful and you're jealous of that, that's a you problem. It's not a me problem. Let's go deeper. Scorpio, December 2020 money and career. Scorpio. December 2020 money and career. Scorpio, December 2020 money and career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels. <clears throat> Excuse me. And spirit guide, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Okay. And two bonus cards. Let me just get a sip of water. Let's see the people that you need to be mindful of during this time. Who are the people that Scorpio needs to be mindful of? December 2020, money and career. Who are the people that Scorpio needs to be mindful of? December 2020, money and career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Fantastic. So we have here the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody who really embraces this energy around them of being very stable, very steady, but this person is going to be very set in their ways, and their vibrational energy, it just doesn't compute with you. So be very mindful of that during this time. The energy that they are giving off, though it is right for them. It is not right for you. And there is not going to be a rhyme or a reason to it. You're just going to sit there and feel feel drained when you're done talking with them or feel less than. And Spirit is really saying here, you know, it is, 
it's, it's not the right energy for you. As much as you try to make it work, it will not work. And then we have the Prince of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So Water Sign Energy calls to Water Sign Energy. This is a person you're going to find very intriguing. They carry a lot of baggage with them. They're slowly and steadily finding their way, but it's not going to be a way that you would do things and it's not going to be a way that you would want to do things. So here it's kind of like, you know, wish them, wish them well, but they have to walk their path as you walk yours. And then we have the King of Cups. So you have the brilliant King of Cups that you are right here. This is the King of Cups kind of like reversed, right? So this is a person who is astoundingly egotistical, who can't get out of their own head, can't get out of their own way, tries to micromanage and rule over everyone and everything, and you just want to kind of step away. They might have a really big dog, but they also might have, what Spirit is showing me here, is they might have a really big bark and not so much of a follow through, like this booming yell, but they don't have the same, this, the follow through with it, or they can be easily kind of like cowed into a corner type of thing or you know, run away. So let's see. We have the Four of Cups, the Lovers. Oh, so you have the Lovers over the heart, crowning the heart, and now you have the Lovers in the center of your inner self. You have the King of Cups over the King of Cups. You are ruling your life well and, and powerfully. Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, over the Seven of Swords, and also the King of, of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Star card, which is Aquarius Energy, time frame January 20th to February 18th, the Ten of Wands, and the Strength card, which is Leo Energy, time frame July 23rd to August 22nd. So we start off here with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is getting a gift and not realizing it. And we have this over the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So as things start to change and as Divinity says, kind of trust in my timing, you're going to have a gift come forward to you that you're really not expecting, that doesn't look like much, and that will be very easy for you to overlook. Don't overlook it because it really does hold something exquisitely beautiful. It brings you then to the lovers over the Ten of Swords. It's like as you see all the pain, all the hurt, all the anger, all the upset that you have been through, it is time to, to focus on love. It is time to focus on what your heart, what your soul needs, how you need to move forward in your life, what it is that you desire, where your talents lie, what is the burning passion within you for this world and for this life. And it's time to embrace it, Scorpio. It really is because it brings you to you being a king, a king of you, a double king. Like, it's a king of you. It's a king of where you want to be. And you have here. Okay. So you have the king of cups in every single deck, right? So this is a time that really focuses on you. It's a warning not to be, not to be the king of cups reversed. You know, not to be the king that is self-centered and egotistical, which I know nobody wants to hear, but I will say what spirit is saying here. And it's to embrace the ruling of the self and the power of your soul in the sense of, you know, what other people, they have to walk their path. And that's going to be something that's really hard during this time, but also astoundingly powerful because you're embracing a blessing. You're holding a blessing in your hands. And the only person who will turn away from this blessing and who will keep this blessing from coming forward is you. So just be mindful of that. Just be mindful of that that there is a blessing coming forward. It's not what you expect. It's very much the Four of Cups mentality here where you have what you expect before you and then you have the blessing that comes and it's like, oh, I didn't think, I didn't think that would be it or, oh, I'm like a little bit disappointed but then as you look at it more, it's like, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, that's brilliant. Like, oh, that's exactly what I needed and so there is that blessing that comes forward and, and rule your life. Like, embrace, embrace you for the beauty and for the power that, that is you, that is your soul, that is yourself. And you will find that the doorways start to open as you embrace what you love and you, you see the gifts, but also you make boundaries. The doorways start to open and you, you start to see things 
you start to see things coming forward. You thought that it could only be one of two ways, but now you're seeing that there's a multitude of ways forward, and it can be overwhelming. You could want to put your head in the sand like this ostrich here, but it will be moving you forward slowly and steadily towards your prosperity. Let your heart embrace it, and you're moving away from the nightmares, from the worry, from the doubt, from the fear, from the apprehension into prosperity and glory and brilliance, but it does take time, and that's going to be that's going to be a bit frustrating. But as you embrace the sun and as the glory shines on you, there is the sense of prosperity that moves you forward. Your hard work pays off. Others will want to take, you know, responsibility for it and say, oh, this is what I did. Don't let them steal your sun. They're really going to want to. They really want to be noticed. They want to be this shiny little, like, you know, person. They want to be like a magpie embracing all the shiny things. Don't let them. Stand in your truth. Stand in your your glory. You have people who work with you. If not, you have your angels and your spirit guides so closely guarding you during this time that it's extraordinary. And it brings you to the seven of swords. Again, you're gathering up your knowledge, your information, and what you desire, and you're leaving behind what doesn't serve your purpose in prosperity. You're leaving behind a lot of the negative thoughts that make you think, I can't be prosperous. Prosperity is for other people. It's not for me. It's like, no, it is for you. Embrace it. Let it guide you. Let it be a part of you. As you as you see the seven of pentacles, which is here in the, your inner self, where you see in the main part of the reading, where you see that prosperity is coming. When you start to, to realize, like, just wait. Just wait. The sweetness comes. Just wait. The power comes. It doesn't mean, like, you know, sit on the couch and eat chips. It means work hard. Be dedicated. You know, listen, listen to, the, to the spiritual energy that is guiding you. But know that there is brilliance here. And know that it will come in divine timing. And that's what brings you justice. That's what brings you the balance. And as you claim the empress, as you claim your throne, as you claim the power of your voice, you claim the star. You claim the highest form of man's perfection. You claim the deepest wish of your soul and the astounding beauty that has shaped our world. The, the pyramids were built to the stars. The, the paths were charted. The, the zodiac was named to the stars. You claim a power that is so profound that it is that is amazing. And you rise to it, honestly and openly and brilliantly and truthfully. And it brings you, again, to releasing a weight that has been too much, to releasing a load that you've been carrying for too long. You feel like Atlas, punished to carry the world upon your shoulders. And it's enough. It's now it's time to start you know, embracing the glory of your dreams and the passion of your soul and the brilliance of yourself because your strength, your strength lies, lies in the power of the in-between of the world, of the pathway between the spirit and the practical, you know, the spiritual and the practical. And your strength is not in taming the world, okay? But your strength is in compassion, understanding, but more so than anything, Scorpio, it's seeing, recording, and gathering. And it moves you forward. You see, you gather, and you move forward in grace, in, in dedication, in determination, in strength, and in love. Let's see what your spirit animals have to say for this time. Scorpio, December 2020, Money and Career. Scorpio, December 2020, money and career. Scorpio, December 2020, money and career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. We have the giraffe spirit. See the big picture. Because there's, you can get caught up very easily in the minutia of things, Scorpio. See the big picture. Embrace the bigger picture because it will help you and guide you forward. It's like, what are your long-term goals? What is it that you truly desire? Where is it that you're headed? Because the ant spirit says it's time to collaborate. It's either time to collaborate with your angels and your spirit guides or it's time to start like setting the path. And it can be your present self is going to be collaborating with your future self, 
you know, and you're going to be putting things together. It's like keeping a little notebook or writing things out. I see like sketches and notes coming forward. So it's, it's time for a collaboration. It's time for a, a getting the ideas out there. There's also, there can also si simply be a collaboration with others coming forward with the ant spirit working together, like the bee spirit, like, like the bees here in the three of pentacles to the prosperity, to the abundance that is bringing you the glory of the happiness of the sun. And then we have here the mass spirit, which is one of my favorites. It says, tend to the small things. We so often think in this world that it's supposed to be the big things. It's supposed to be, you know, the firework moments. Everybody can ooh and awe over them. And it's where everybody can see that everything matters. It's like, no, it's the small things. Relationships that tend to the small things, they tend to last longer. The person who gets you a cup of coffee or a cup of tea when, when they get themselves one or the person who, you know, asks what you want when they're ordering food and, and things like that, little things, you know, folds up the blankets at the end of the day. Those are the relationships that, that, that last, that are, are meaningful. And they're not based off of these big, almost unobtainable, like movie star kind of goals. It's not, you know, filling up a whole stadium with flowers or anything like that. It's the small and the subtle. Because the outrageous, the outlandish, that gets you all the attention, that's great. But what is it like in the quiet moments? Tend to the small things. And that's in love and that's in work. Tend to the small things. There's it, And it seems almost funny here because you have tend to the small things and you have look at the big picture. So look at the big picture and then break it down into small things. And instead of trying to get the big picture done right away, it's like breaking it down, moving it forward, breaking it down, moving it forward. And then you'll see that you get it done. And it'll be a lot easier and a lot, a lot better than you thought it was going to be. Let's see what your spirit animals have to say. You have the dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. That's what this whole reading has been about. Be loyal to what you love and be loyal to you, Scorpio. Your subconscious chakra message. Determination. The solar plexus chakra, you are determined and you have this personal power to move yourself forward, to go against the tide and to swim to your truth, to also go against emotional upheaval, you know, doubts, fears, and embrace your truth and your power. It brings you to your subconscious people message, which is justice. And you had justice come through in the main part of your reading. This is a balancing of the scales, a discernment of self, an embrace of your truth. It doesn't have to be anybody else's truth, but it sure as heck is yours. It moves you to your subconscious tarot message, which is the seven of wands. Yeah, a sense of knowing when to fight and knowing when to step away, knowing what you stand for and, and holding that ground, but also saying, you know what, I'm not going to be bullied by others to engage in battles that mean nothing, that will get me nowhere. And then you rise, you rise to the top of the ladder, you, you win the game because you stand in your truth and you stand in your power. And it is so beautiful that everybody realizes, that everybody sees, you know? So instead of being the person who, who goes from one thing to another and is outraged all the time, you stand quietly in your truth, in your power, in your heart. And that's profound. And it brings you to go deeper into your subconscious with the fool. Because as you stand your ground and can't be provoked by others' folly, you begin your journey, your hero's quest. Your soul wants to move forward in a way that is profound, in a way that is brilliant and freeing and beautiful and, and so much more. And so here you embrace, you embrace the fool. You embrace your journey forward. You embrace your hero's quest. And there will be times where you stumble and fall along the way. But you have to stand true to you. All right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of the negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as 
we embrace the path of kings, as we embrace power, our soul's truth, our dedication, and release the negativity that has been holding us back, knowing that during this time, we want to keep our vibrational energy high, and the vibrational energy of ourselves, but also those around us, is something that we're akin to, yeah, during this time. So, so be mindful, stay in your truth, and let the sun blaze brightly within your soul, and it will It will cast away the shadows. It will cast away the doubts. And it will keep you rising high. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio.